Let's check on the African night crawlers. Now, I'm trying to raise them in this worm factory, and the first couple of days that I had them, man, they were pissed at me. I think they were pissed at me because I kept them in the mailbox a little too long because I was at work. Luckily, they were okay because when I ordered them, the company ordered um, offered a heat pack, and I took it just in case because you never know but anyway they finally calmed down i had to leave a light on them with a lid off for a few days because they were just determined to like hey i'm leaving this place so they were crawling out <laughs> they're huge too huge so i put this shredded paper because i heard that um african night crawlers they like a lot of carbon and there's one of my buddies what a pretty worm. You notice how dark they are? That's how you know you have an African night crawler. They're kind of dark. I think I overfilled this this little this first bin. But the reason I did it is because I thought they're big. Like maybe they need more room. Look how big that worm is. And look they're down here, all the way down there. I think um well, there's a watermelon I put in there, and they seem to be... Alright, look at that. They seem to be enjoying it. There they are. So they do like watermelon. I'm going to put the, the fleshy side down. That way they'll eat it a little faster. So what I do is, even though they're eating the watermelon... And by the way, I have leaves down here too, because I know that they like leaves. I'm going to dampen this a little bit with a spray bottle and I'm still going to put, like I'll sprinkle some warm chow over here. I'm trying to get used to them eating that stuff. Alright. Just dampen things a little bit here and there. Isn't it wonderful the different types of worms we have the opportunity to raise? I heard that there's a worm out there called Louisiana Swamp Worm. I'm trying to see what that is. Let's just put a little chow here. And I buy this feed from Missouri. And no, they don't sponsor me. When I raised African parrots for a living years ago, I would feed Missouri um, parrot food. And they did very well for me. So now I, I just feed these guys Missouri. When I go down to my wormery, I'll take a picture of it and I'll insert it in my next video of them. It's right now, I'm getting ready to go to work. Who else checks on their worms right before to work? If not, I'll be thinking about them all day. I do. I'll show you the bag of Missouri um, that I got. It's pretty cheap. I don't know if it's like 50 pounds for like 15 bucks I don't know something like that I, I <laughs> it takes me so long to go through it that I don't remember the price but we're gonna see how these guys are gonna do in here I don't know I'll keep you guys updated on them so take care so I'm back from work now and I want to take a better look at them who else out there think about your worms while you're at work and you like can't wait to go home and see them I know I'm not the only one I can't be so I just want to check on them a little better look at them they're pretty aren't they they're so dark I love them so I took out some of the bedding because <laughs> I told you I think I overfilled this thing so I just want to peek at them a little better okay let's see They're nice looking worms. So that's the watermelon that they were eating. So I think I see like activity around them. Oh yeah, look. There they are. Nice little worm party. Nice little African nightcrawler worm party. I can't wait to see um, one of their cocoons. 
I keep seeing online people saying that their cocoons are a little bigger than the other ones. I mean, is that true? Those of you that raise African nightcrawlers, is it a little bigger than the other ones? I don't know. I'm dying to know. So they're definitely eating the watermelon. Boy, it looks fleshy. That's good. You know worms don't actually directly eat this food, right? The bacteria breaks it down. And what do they call the other ones? Proto something? And then they eat that. But yeah, it's looking very fleshy. Which is good because that means that they're eating it. I mean, this was like a big chunk about this high. So, not bad. So I'm going to put their little, their little thing back and get them settled in again. Don't mean to disturb you guys. Well, yes, I do. Because <laughs> I like them. So let's put this back in. I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to wait a little bit more, but then I might just start a second tray here just to give them more room to expand since they're so long. You know, long in length. And maybe that'll um, get them breeding a little faster if they have more room. Maybe, let's see down here. Any, any down here? Nope. None of them have gone down, but if they do, you know, that's okay, and they have that worm ladder down here that they can climb up. There we go. So when I first started vermin composting, like, 19 years ago, I mean, people thought I was nuts. But, you know, I found them on the internet, and this was when the internet was, like, you know, not that, not that popular. Um, I found them, and... I just, I couldn't believe it. As a gardener, I'm like, oh my gosh, people actually do this jackpot. And there weren't many people on YouTube that were doing it. So I got really interested and I just fell in love with them and it all started from there. So let's water this down a little bit because it feels a little on the dry side to me. So there we go, there's the African night crawlers. And we're going to check on them again soon. Take care. Like, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Smash that thumb button. And take care.